Hello, I'm here. Oh. Hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> I'm well. How's everything with you? Pretty good, actually. It's really nice to meet you. The great struggle of writing sci-fi is trying to remain relevant. With new incredible scientific advancements happening every single day, sci-fi needs to keep up with the times while at the same time not being so fantastical that it becomes unrealistic. One of sci-fi's favorite topics to explore in the modern sense is artificial intelligence. Now writing AI is certainly nothing new. But it's the way writing AI has changed so much as the years go by that is absolutely fascinating to me. There is a lot to learn from movies that tackle AI, and my personal favorites are Her and Ex Machina. These movies have a lot to say about AI, and it's important to learn what we could take away from these films, as well as discuss which film we think is better. Welcome to the internet, where everything has to turn into an argument. Fuck you, shithead, fuckface, fuckhead! The great debate on AI is whether or not you believe it constitutes legitimate life or if it's just a fancy machine that can pretend to feel complex emotions. I call this the personal versus machine argument. When writing AI, it's important to show this debate, even if your story never really takes a side. Ex Machina shows this debate in full force through the characters. Ex Machina follows the story of Caleb Smith, a programmer for the company Blue Book, as well as Nathan Bateman, Blue Book's CEO. Nathan hires Caleb to interact with an AI that Nathan invented, in order to test to see if it's really true AI. Hello. Hi. I'm Caleb. Hello, Caleb. Do you have a name? Yes. Ava. Nathan takes the machine side. As far as Nathan is concerned, the AI is just a machine made for testing, so he believes that he could treat the AI however he wants. I don't see Ava as a decision, just an evolution. I think it's the next model. It's going to be the real breakthrough. The singularity. Next model. After Ava. I didn't know there was going to be a model after Ava. Caleb starts the film off not knowing what to think. However, as he talks to Ava the AI more, he takes on more of the personal side, viewing AI as just as legitimate as human intelligence. Her's take on this debate is very different. Her completely ignores the machine argument and focuses exclusively on the personal. Her follows the story of Theodore Twombly, a man who in the wake of his divorce falls in love with an artificially intelligent operating system. That's pretty, what is that? I'm trying to write a piece of music that's about what it feels like to be on the beach with you right now. Her doesn't care about any of the scientific mumbo jumbo behind AI, and just focuses on what exactly it means to us personally. To Theodore, his OS is a way to fill in the loneliness left in him by the crushing reality of his divorce. I'm safe and where? Her completely acts as though AI is just as human as the humans. Hell, Samantha sounds more human than most human characters in most movies. You're so beautiful. It's only because I'm so in love. Impact on character. As I mentioned in most of my videos, every plot point should be used as an opportunity to develop the story's main characters. In Ex Machina, we start off the story by seeing Nathan as a warm and welcoming genius with a mild case of alcoholism. We also see Caleb as a bright-eyed young programmer who will do anything to please his boss. However, as we see how they interact with the AI more, we see them in a different light. Nathan's view on the AI as just some fancy computers makes him appear to be barbaric and brutal towards them. However, Caleb's view on them as a person makes him seem to be more kind and compassionate. This leads him to get bolder and bolder as the film progresses, making him more willing to be compatible with Nathan. This especially comes to a head when Caleb sees Nathan's security footage. Here is the exact moment where our bright-eyed Caleb turns into a determined hero and Nathan gets turned into a ruthless villain. Why did you tell me I shouldn't trust Nathan? Because he tells lies. Lies about what? Everything. Including the power cuts? What do you mean? 
Don't you think it's possible that he's watching us? Right now? With the blackouts are orchestrated so he can see how we behave when we think we're unobserved. Her has an even greater impact on character because of how it focuses entirely on the personal aspect of AI as well as one central character rather than two. Theodore is one of the best developed characters ever written because of how deep his character goes. We see events that happened to him before the film took place as we get to see how happy he was at the time of his marriage. These events aren't shown through cheesy flashbacks, but rather they're intercut in scenes where we get to see just how devastating the divorce is on him as a person. Samantha comes in at just the right time. Theodore is at the loneliest time of his entire life. Not only is the divorce weighing on him, but we also see that he's been isolating himself from his friends because of it. As an audience, we're told several times through emails and conversations that Theodore has lots of friends. However, we really only see him hanging out with one of them. This is where the AI aspect of Samantha plays a huge role. Because she is an AI, she's tailored to learn all that she can about Theodore, and to be the perfect companion for him specifically. Hey, you just got an email from Mark Lumen. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, read the email. Okay, I will read email for Theodore Tombley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what's Lumen say? This personality that Samantha takes on while interacting with Theodore perfectly reflects his unrealistic expectations of relationships echoed by his ex-wife. And in that way, it's been nice. I think you always wanted me to be this, this light, happy, bouncy, everything's fine, L.A. wife, and that's just not me. I didn't want that. Up until that point of the film, Samantha was the embodiment of the perfect L.A. wife. You feel stupid, but you really shouldn't, because proving an A.I. is exactly as problematic as you said it would be. Impact on the world. It would be a huge missed opportunity in a sci-fi movie not to have extensive world building. AI would obviously have a huge impact on our lives and society as a whole. In Ex Machina, AI really hasn't been put out into the world quite yet, so it really focuses on how the development of AI impacts our society. Nathan explains that Caleb was the perfect guinea pig for his testing by gathering information about him through the internet. So the implication is that we can't trust the security of our social media, what we order, or any of our search history. And you didn't select me because I'm good at coding. No. Well, no. I mean, you're okay. You're even pretty good, but... You selected me based on my search engine inputs. They showed a good kid. With no family. With a moral compass. And no girlfriend. Did you design Ava's face based on my pornography profile? Hey, if a search engine's good for anything, right? Nope, we can't even trust porn. Her's implication on society is yet again personal rather than quantifiable. We never get the number of people using operating systems, rather we see a ton of people using them in the background of scenes. This seems like a logical next step of modern day people using their smartphones. So not only are a large number of people using OS's religiously, but a significant number of them are also in relationships with their OS's. Are you in love with anyone else? What makes you ask that? I don't know. Are you? How many others? 641. Writing AI is challenging because they aren't typical human characters. They need a bit of extra work to fit the story properly. However, what is important for writers to remember is that they are characters at their core and need just as much depth and development as other characters. Alright, so here comes the real question. Which movie did it better? This is the internet, so this video would probably feel incomplete if I didn't take a stand on which movie I thought was better. And honestly, it's really difficult to pick. I mean, like, both movies have flawless execution and talking about AI, and both movies are just so good. I feel like it'd be criminal to say that one movie is definitively better than the other one. But her is better, I'm right, you're wrong, yeah, yeah.